Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how to use Team Hall's alteration uh, mini paper rosettes and here I have also the distress paints and I'm going to show you how to do this mini rosettes with this distress paints. This is the ship sapphire and the seedless preserves. I'm going to use these two colors to make this happen today and I'm also going to need a glue gun and obviously the dye and your rosettes and some paper to work with. Now uh, I mentioned before that Team Holtz has two rosettes die and these are the mini ones I don't have the big one but uh, today we're gonna do the whole thing with the mini one. So the mini paper rosette die looks like this it's one of the longest um, alterations that C6 has. Uh, they come this long and oops and they also as you can see this is the die, how it looks from the other side. It brings two medallions and the two mini rosettes. Now being said that, obviously you need a big shot, a cuddle buck, or a bag of bond, or any other type of um, troquel that will work with the C6 alteration. So, the project is really simple. All we got to do is, um, obviously I already have cut mine, and once you cut them, I have the two medallions here, and here are my rosettes. All you do is separate them, like that. You throw the piece away, you don't need that. And then, the simple way to do this is to make a little accordion. So, we're going to start with the big one. The big one, I'm going to color it with the distress paint. I'm going to use a little bit of this, this let me shake it, distress paint which is the chip sapphire. So all I'm going to do is just it and go like this and then I'm going to use my other color and dab it a little bit and use a little bit like that. And then I'm going to use a little bit more of that blue in the bottom. Now remember guys, this is a water-based reacted um, paint. So all you do is kind of like put a little bit of that water. Uh, make it happen a little bit for this paint to do some effect. And if you want to cover everything, you just you can use your fingers too. A little bit more messy, but but you know you can always cover everything you don't want to show, and it's cool because what happens is since this is a water react paint, the the combinations of the colors they they dilute very well. They go very well. But look at my inky my inky fingers. So there, there you go. You got your little cool your little cool um, rosette. Let's wait for it to dry, to dry for a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to look for something to clean my hands while this while the paint um, completely dries up. And let's see. I'm gonna clean my surface for a little bit because it's a little bit messy. But I rather uh, use my heat gun for a little bit to dry that paint out. Make sure it's really dry because you apply water to it so the paper will kind of be a little bit more flexible than usual. So I'm going to now clean my surface. It should clean up. And if it doesn't clean up, you just spray water to it and the color will be gone just that my table is like a little bit not too good lately I need to get a better table for my project it's like a must okay let's see much better right yeah so you clean your surface so you can keep working and um, the cool thing about um, the the rosette is that you all you got to do is start
folding it like an accordion just like that you fold back and forth 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 and back and forth and then your 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 fingers are going to get ink again but don't worry about it um, the more messy it is the better remember that always with this type of projects the, the messier the better then if it gets too big to hold it just let it go and from where you let it go you start back and forth 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 it's like a little accordion you see back and forth and there we go there is my folded rosette now, now that I have it all folded I'm gonna use my um, glue gun to stick these two pieces together just like that okay so I'll apply some of that um, you know heated glue gun and stick them together hold them down for a little bit so that it sticks very well just like that make sure your foldings are all good so this is good now at the beginning when I started using this die one of the things that confused me I don't know why because I, I guess I was in a rush making this nice rosette that if you see let me grab this one over here if you see you have a edge that is all like a scallop edge and then you have a straight the straight edge now you can do either but the best way to go is to have the scallop edge on the outside and the way you do this is very simple you're just going to put your rosette in the surface I'm going to put a glue dot on your mat remember this is a heat mat it doesn't matter what you put in there it's not going to stick it's not going to burn it and it's not going to do anything then you grab all your corners together and boom press it down just like that alright hold it for one second right there remember this um, glue dries really fast uh, so it's really nothing to worry about just leave it there for a minute let it dry for a bit now the medallions the medallions they go on top of the rosette just like that but we didn't paint it so you can do anything really with the medallion you can paint it you can color it you can draw on it you can place a sticker and you can actually do whatever you like really so all I'm gonna do here is um I think I will color it a little bit or maybe use um why don't we use some stickles that will be a great idea so if I grab one of my stickles Find any. You can just go ahead and stickle them up. And I'm going to use my fingers again to make it prettier and shiny like that. But you can actually go ahead and use your dabbers again if you like to. And then all you're going to have is like a nice stickle craft color there and then again my stickle fingers okay we're gonna use our heat gun for a minute again and voila you got your stickled medallion what we can do you can actually do anything guys anything you can use a button for example we can do that and we can stick it up with a little bit of that glue and it will look neat 
so by now my rosette should be all stick up together so what I'll do I'll just take it out from the mat just like that you see it goes out nothing stays there so this is how it looks on the back but my medallion is basically all together very well see so now I have my medallion set now if I want to make it more interesting all I can do is bring my vintage photo ink and my tool to ink it up a little bit so it gets a little bit more of that dimension that dimension you just go through on top of the edges It's really fun actually. You can make tons of different things with these rosettes and they're really fun on your projects. I actually this will be I, I believe this could be one of my favorite dyes because you can actually create beautiful combinations and colors and and you can distress them, you can paint them, you can stickle them, you can you name it. You can do anything you want really see so now it looks a little better put that away and now we're gonna stick our medallion all you got to do is put some of the glue again right there and stick your medallion right in the center for a beautiful distress paint rosette and that's how you use your dabbers, your distress paint dabbers with the reset dye of Tim Holtz. So I show you my project um, recently about the 4th of July. And you can also use the um, tissue tape from Tim Holtz. You can also use them in your, in your rosette. And they look really cool and you can decor them with whatever you like so if you want we're gonna work on the small one too well you can tell me if you want or not but I'm gonna I know I'm gonna work on the small one so I'm gonna use different colors. let's try a little bit of these um, this is the vintage photo and let's try a little bit of the this is the broken china so all I'm going to do is put a little bit on the side here right there and a little bit on the other edge just like that pour a little bit of the water just a little bit not too much and dry it up can also mix your distress distress of paints with your distress with your distress stains so it's sorry about that guys it's a little bit confusing when you're using the distress word so many times so maybe we can mix a little bit of that bundle sage to give it a little bit more of an interesting look And remember, this reacts with water. Go spray some water again. And dry it up. So I'm going to clean my surface again. Just like that keep on working on my mat and you see I got this interesting look so what we'll do is basically the same I'm gonna go back and forth back and forth back and forth 
back and forth, back and forth. And when you get at a point where you cannot no longer hold them, you let them go and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that's basically what you do. See? And it has to have like that accordion look, remember. So we're going to stick them together. Two edges go together. Put some glue. Bring them together and boom. Look nice and neat. All right, remember the part what I told you. Scallop edge and just a straight edge. You want that straight edge the one to go in the center. Okay? I'm going to pull them a little bit more to give a little bit more of that easier way to fold it together. So, you see, I'm going to put a glue dot in the middle. And let's go for the ride. Actually, sometimes this is a little bit difficult, but once you get the grip of it, you're going to be a master on doing resets. So don't worry about it. With training, you will get it together all the time. Don't worry about it. So I'm holding it right there. My medallion is not ready, so I want my medallion to be ready. Let's just hold it for a little bit more. And uh, let's see what I can do with my medallion. The best way to go is go back again with your distress paints because it is actually going to give more color to it. You see? Just like that. I'm going to use a little bit of that brown, just a little dot because it's really small. So we just mix them together and boom, you get that marmalized or marmaled, like, yeah, marmalized look that these distress stains tend to do. So we're going to dry it up. Holding down a little bit and dry it up. As you can see, guys, there's so many ways you can use this. And the cool thing about this, again, is that you can actually um, go ahead and uh, embellish any project that you're working with. Any project, like cards. Um, you can go ahead with your cards, with your, uh, if you're altering a box or a mini album or anything like that it will just go perfect so um, I put the stickles on you already know that step and we're gonna dry it out again whoopsie <laughs> Good thing I dried out a little bit, huh? So we're going to put some of that more glue there and we'll stick it right there. Right there. Just right there in the middle. I'll take my reset out of the mat. Clean my mat. And we can actually use one of these cute little buttons I have here, a brown button. So it will match up with the other one and I can use it on a project. So there we go. That, those are my beautiful distress paint rosettes. There you go. So, you see guys, it's very simple. They're very cute. They're very fun to do, especially with those distress paints. 
love them. You gotta love them. Oops, got a little bit of glue there. Well, you take it out. And a little bit of glue here. See? What do you think? Awesome. So, you can make it in, scar in car stock. You can make it in any other color paper you like. If you have paper, tons of paper, Team Holt paper, whatever paper, you can create them however you like. You like I show you, you can use tissue tape and a lot of other cool things to embellish. So these are the way you create with sets, guys. So I hope you like this little tutorial. And if you like what you see, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.